In this video, we're gonna talk about the benefits of using sensors with your sprinkler and irrigation system. I'm Sprinkler Nerd Andy, and you're watching Sprinkler TV. So what we wanna talk about today are the benefits of using sensors with your sprinkler or your irrigation system. And there are really five types of sensors most commonly used in any irrigation system. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to list these five types. The most popular, the number one type of sensor is a rain sensor, okay? The purpose of a rain sensor is to turn off the irrigation system when it was raining. I have an example here. This is the Hunter wireless rain sensor. And you can set a rain sensor like this to turn off the system at an eighth of an inch, a quarter of an inch, a half an inch. And you can also control the dry down period. How long would you like it to be before it comes back on? So that's sense number one, the rain sensor will turn off your irrigation system when it is raining. Sensor number two is a wind sensor or a wind click. A wind sensor will prevent your irrigation system from watering when it is windy. We've all seen this before. The wind kicks up and the sprinkler droplets start blowing around in the breeze. And instead of the water landing on the plant material and making its way into the root zone, it just simply blows into the air. So by adding a wind sensor to your sprinkler system, you can shut the system down while it is windy to optimize that water and not let it blow around in the breeze. Sensor number three is a freeze sensor. If you live in Scottsdale, Arizona or Miami, Florida, you might not need a freeze sensor. But if you live in Minneapolis, Minnesota, chances are a freeze sensor could be a good idea. The way a freeze sensor works is it will shut off your irrigation system at a predetermined temperature. Let's say 38 degrees. Okay, and the reason you wanna shut down your irrigation system at 38 degrees is so the water doesn't freeze onto the sidewalks and somebody could trip and fall. So this is more commonly used on commercial applications where there are people coming into a place of business, but if you don't wanna slip and fall yourself, you could install a free sensor. And that way, if you haven't winterized your irrigation system yet and you get a hard freeze and the system is still on, you can prevent it from watering, freezing on your walk, driveways, patios, etc., and preventing yourself from tripping and falling uh, and an insurance liability. So number four is a flow sensor. And a flow sensor is something that manages, well, senses the water flow through the pipe. So here I have a flow sensor that just happens to be a baseline flow sensor. And there's a paddle wheel down inside here that'll measure the gallons per minute. So on your system, you can track your water usage. Are we using five gallons a minute? Did we use 600 gallons last night? So that you can totalize your usage so you know how much you are using, but you can also use it to kind of like leak detection. You can shut down your system if it has operating out of uh, specification. So if zone six, for instance, is supposed to be running at 18.3 gallons per minute, and that zone is now running at 20 gallons per minute, you have a leak and you can use that flow sensor to shut down the zone. And if you have a break in your main line, you can use the flow sensor to shut down the entire system. And sometimes in order to manage a system, you have to measure it or measure it to manage it. So a flow sensor is the only tool for the job as it relates to totalizing your water usage and uh, leak detection. And then the final most popular sensor, number five, is a soil moisture sensor. This happens to be a baseline soil moisture sensor and a soil moisture sensor is placed in a zone and it can be used to start irrigation, stop irrigation or pause irrigation. So when it's when we talk about starting irrigation, you can wait to turn your sprinklers on until the system dries out to a predetermined set point or an allowable depletion. You can also use this sensor to turn off the water once you've reached field capacity or a predetermined wet point. And therefore, instead of letting the controller run on a timed schedule, you're gonna use a sensor to control the watering in a smart way. Let's turn on when it's dry and let's turn off when it's wet. It's really that simple. So this is the baseline version that can be connected to a baseline controller or a standard irrigation system. 
uh, as an add-on device. And then I also have here, just as a demo, this is a, a SPIO sensor. This is not used for irrigation automation, but it can be used for data collection. This is actually the sensing device here. And there is a uh, cellular device inside the sensor. So you can really put this sensor anywhere in the world, connect it up to the cloud and manage it through the SPIO app. So again, those are the five most common sensors used in irrigation and sprinkler applications. We have a rain sensor, a wind sensor, a freeze sensor, a flow sensor, and a soil moisture sensor. I hope that's helpful. If you have a comment or a question, drop it down below. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell to be notified every time we release a new video. If we can help you at Sprinkler Supply Store, please contact us by phone, chat, email, text message. And until the next Sprinkler TV video, happy sprinkling, my friends. We'll see you then.